the car girl was written by Mam Lewulu and it is fixated on a certain girl called Faiza. So Faiza had a cousin called Asana and Asana was being betrothed to marriage at a, at a very young age. So according to the book, Kaya means load. It is a ga word. It means load. Like Adia Yeswa. And Ya means girl. So load girl. So Kaya you. Yes, put it in mind. You can ask him. What's it? High school life. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm Ella and we are on High School Live with Cyril Clarkson. Yes, so this is High School Update right here on High School Live as Ella said. And today we are going to be highlighting some of the benefits we have got from the supplementary readers, which is the Kaya Girl and the Son of Umbili. So Ella, before we get to this um, quick commercial break, Ella, do you have a laptop? no i don't you don't have a laptop no okay since ella doesn't have a laptop i am recommending to you rubens computers and accessories they deal in everything related to computers la um, laptops repairing system unit. in fact everything about computers you can contact them for yours you'll be going to the university soon so you have to get yourself a laptop okay, sure. okay so we are going for a quick commercial break when we get back ella and i will be delving into the kaya girl and the son of umbili before we go for a break, I would like my viewers to subscribe, like, and comment as well. Okay, as you heard from Ella, subscribe and also share to your friends as well. We are going for this short break when we come back. The show in details. This video is brought to you by Ruben Computers and Accessories. Welcome back from that a very quick break. Now, Ella, you are informed too, right? Yeah. You know, me, I'm informed. Like, I've completed school. But next year, May, June, let me be right. Ah, but like, who told you May, June? It's May, June. I had to It's May, June. Yeah. Okay, so I'm from intermediate year school. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you have been reading The Kaya Girl. The Kaya Girl and the Sound of Me. <laughs> yeah. Have you read? But, mm -hmm. I mean, the day they said this for us, that was the day I finished reading the both of them. Are you sure you feel it? So if I yeah, ask you a question, not you... into details. That's that's the problem. Yeah. Like you're informed too. You are ready to see Okay, so for me, the Kaya girl was my favorite. The Kaya girl, um, you must read their names. I think Faiza. Faiza. Yes, the Kaya girl was written by Mamele Wolo. And yes, Faiza was my favorite character. So um, you see, the people would always say that, oh, the Kaya girl, son of Umbele, what will he do for me in future? When I go and sit in the office, would they tell but me? But that story and did you cry? Oh yeah, it didn't end well yeah. at all. It didn't end well at all because, like, I was hoping to see more of um Abena. You see, they talked more about Faye that becoming a doctor. I was hoping to see more of Abena and you know her future endeavors. But like, I really enjoyed the story. It's a very good literary literary work. But like, aside that, it, I feel like they should have extended um more light on Abena's story rather than focusing on only Faye that you get. Okay, so most people usually say the Kaya girl is not important because when you go to the university or after you are done with the university and you start working, nobody will come to your office and ask you, hey, describe Faiza, describe Afana, describe the Kaya girl. Nobody will ask that. But to me as a student, it's actually improved upon my vocabulary because I think I learned a word or two in the Kaya girl, um, grimaced. I had never heard of the word grimaced before. I think J-R-I-M-A-C-E-D. So grimacing means as a way in your name, you understand? Oh, okay. And when we say somebody is standing akimbo, it's like obi obi no soon as you don't know the English word, it means the person is standing akimbo. Uh -huh. I, mean, the kind of girl has, I know where everything is to. The past that they used the word akimbo was when I think um Auntie Gifty found out that her money has been missing from the office from her office and she was standing akimbo when Pfizer and Abuna came in. She wanted to ask them who had stolen the money and blah. So yeah. From, um, apart from Kaya Goliath, oh, I have also learned a lot of vocabularies from the sound of Umbele as well. So all in all, it has helped me improve upon my vocabulary. What about you, Ella? How has it helped you? <laughs> Ella, dear. She doesn't read the book, so hey. So yeah, you said that you can write. I used, to, I used to read it, but... And so, like, you, can, you have to tell me something that you played. But it was me, Form 1. When we went to Form 1 for the first time, I think after two weeks, they came to share the books for us. I read all of all of the books the same day. <laughs> I took, I think, I'm not even done with the book. You're not done. Yeah. Form three, I'm not done. It is for me, it's helped me to put in my book. But and also, it's helped me to think quick on my feet. Because you see, when um, you're going to answer questions about the character in the sound of the you don't know the parts to read. So you basically summarize everything in your head. When you go and sit down, any question that will drop any answer questions based on that. 
So my little advice as an SHS graduate is you a form two student is that read your book and like you don't like learning. <laughs> I do, I do. Okay, but as for this, as for you this, said, group. okay, the Kaya girl and the sound of a which one is your favorite? I prefer the Kaya girl. The Kaya girl. Yeah, so, but, chapter but, one, but, chapter but one, you've so read. As for chapter <laughs> one, you've read. So, if you open the book, the first thing you see, what is it? I think it's a tree word, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Um, it is said something like that. Yes. Oh, clap for Ella. Ella has done more. Yes. As for Kaya girl, the, the first word, yeah, we all know. She, like, Faiza was. Um, Abna was trying to talk to Faiza, but Faiza yeah. didn't understand she. So, yes, um, I, personally, I was a literature student, so we learned other books such as um, Woodring Heights, Made Summer Nine's Dream, Second Class Citizen. Oh, in fact, SHS, I've missed SHS, so like, I like reading personally. Mm. What's your favorite subject? Mine is. <laughs> Mine is mathematics. <laughs> yeah. Mathematics. Yeah. The way I, I said before getting one in math. Eh? When I was in SHS, um, GHS, GHS, sorry. Yeah. But when I came to SHS. Yeah, For me, I was, good in, I was good in math during GHS time. Oh. But when I came to SHS, I think form one, form two ish. The thing was being from way, but my math teacher said, I bet God bless you wherever you are. This teacher will, hey, this teacher will come to class, he will explain everything. And what I like about him is that he never uses a cane. Mm. He never uses a cane, but we all feared him because of, you know, this, you know, yeah. So, but like, because to say, I bet I had a one in mass. Hey, give me fans. I had a one. I had a one <laughs> in mass. So yes. Um, how many A's are you expecting to get? Mm-hmm. I'm expecting all to be A's. I'm praying. Amen. So, so the fact that you were high school and ambassador A, what about you? Do you get straight A's? Because yeah. high school life, we only take brilliant people. Yeah, so we are all brilliant. So yeah, at the end of it all, we have realized that. Ella doesn't read her books. <laughs> Ella doesn't read Kaya Girl and Son of Umbele. That's so. So yeah, if you are a student, don't learn from Ella or learn from me, okay? Okay, so since Ella doesn't read her books, I'm going to summarize this to you so that you don't even bother learning it at all. <laughs> okay, so the Kaya Girl was written by Ma'am Lewulu and it is fixated on a certain girl called Faiza. So Faiza had a cousin called Asana and Asana was being reported to marriage at a, at a very young age so she ran away um, looking for greener pastures so i think after many years of asana not returning back to tamale um faiza became so desperate so she told her aunt that she can look for asana in kumase so faiza makola. came to makola instead faiza came to makola instead um but she didn't know that um she didn't know that asana was in kumase she doesn't know anywhere apart from tamale so she just came to makola when she came to Makola, she saw that oh, these nerds are doing this Kaya Yo business, Kaya Yo business, and she also involved herself in this Kaya Yo business. So, according to the book, Kaya means load. It is a ga word. It means load, like Adia Yeswa, and Ya means girl. So, load girl. So, Kaya Yo. Yes, put it in mind. You can ask you in Masi. So, I think one day Faiza went to sit at her usual spot where she gets customers, and Abana was also a student of the American school in accra yes there's a school called american school in accra that was where abana was a student of and so like she had this kind of american style a i mean b like he understand exactly but like you said most people misconstrue the bs to be a I mean penny pack but abana liked Pfizer very well so um abana and Pfizer became the best of friends they were very adventurous and i think um, somebody stole money from Abnes and which is called who is called Auntie Gifty. They stole money from her shop, and Auntie Gifty thought it was Pfizer who stole the money, but it wasn't Pfizer. Who, it was a certain shop attendant. So after long days, I think um, they all realized that Pfizer wasn't the one behind the stolen money, and they departed. So basically, Pfizer came to Kumase to see whether she could find Asana there, and Abna also went back to school to write her final exam to get admission into the University of Ghana. So when Abana got admission to the University of Ghana, he she met her boyfriend. I completely school last year, so I've forgotten the names of the characters. So if I mix it up, please forgive me. She met her boyfriend. Hey, you are laughing. You that you haven't read the I'll read and then just okay. correct. So the next time this girl will come and summarize mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, for I'll us. do it. Okay, so I Abana met her boyfriend in high school. They got married, they got pregnant, and it was time for Abana to deliver. And you know what happened? When they went to the labor room, it turns out that Faiza was the doctor. You see how the story has turned. 
Why that was the doctor who delivered her friend Abna? So, like after lots of deliberations, why is that introduced herself as Dr. Muhammad? And the old lost friends finally came back together. And Abna was saying that she had passion of reading journalism, and Pfizer was also a doctor. So that is a little summary about the Kaya girl. As I said, I've forgotten the names of the characters. So in case I have missed any but anyone up, don't come and comment and insult me. I'm really so yeah, for the son of Umbele there, I will leave it to this girl. The next time she can, she's going to summarize everything for us and I'll mark it. I wish right. I will read everything then. I'm giving you three days, son of Umbele. Okay. okay, so thank you very much for watching High School Update right here on High School Live. My name has always been Silo Claxon and I did this together with... Um, Ella. Okay, so um, subscribe to our channel, follow Ella, follow me on all our social media handles. Until next time, it's a bye for now. Bye. Oh yeah, education at its best, with entertainment, Compass Live, High School News, only on High School Live. <laughs>